M Dog Gaming. Okay, welcome. This is M Dog. We're playing Hearthstone today, and we're gonna go arena with mage. Try to build a mage deck here. We got the uh, yesterday. We got the nine wins with the paladin. Um, feeling pretty comfortable with paladin and warrior in particular, uh, but we want to try building a mage deck. So. Okay, I don't know if you're seeing this, but we have got some screwy things going on here. Let's see if we back out if it gets any better. No. As you may have noticed, the uh, text was buggy there. So we'll, I'll probably keep that in just to show some evidence of a bug here. Uh, this is... Um, This is probably going to be Ancient Mage. Ancient Mage. Let's talk a little bit about building a mage deck for Arena. Uh, I'm, I'm at this point. I'm I'm building a lot of decks where I'm just trying to take the best card available. I'm not going to rely upon oh I'll get a really good draw and get all the best hero abilities for whatever class you're playing um, because getting random card draw through Arena that's going to happen very seldom. So trying to balance taking cards that do complement the mage, so that's important. So things like the Ancient Maze is going to give some spell damage, and that's good. Um, balance that with taking cards that we know trade well and are just good cards for Arena. So we are going to start off with Ancient Mage because the other two choices, frankly, aren't strong enough to, to change that. Okay, so we have a really good two. This is going to be a... a our first tough decision a really good two or a good spage ability for two mana to do three damage and freeze a character can certainly come in handy the mad bomber is a really good two it does have the random effect of dealing three damage split among all characters including you your minions their minions and their heroes but I think we'll take frostbolt on this choice so neither of these are great cards, so we will go with Mana Worm. That's a decent card. If you can play spells on top of it, you get the bonus to attack. Um, this is a good three, but this is a really good one to get two O2 min taunt minions out there. We'll go Mirror Image there. Um, now here is where we're gonna we're gonna vary a little bit from Mage abilities. Fireball is a great Mage ability. Probably crazy not to take it, but I think it's important to get some really good twos in this deck. So we are going to go Bloodfin Raptor there. Archmage will work well with the mage. Arcane Missiles is really good, although it is random. I think we'll go Archmage here and get our first six. We'll take Chillwind Yeti as a really good four. I think Raging Worgen is the pick here. If played at the correct time, we will be able to enrage it with our hero ability. Alright, and this is between Gnomish Inventor and River Croc. We've got one good two. We'll need some more. River Croc, Croc trades really well in certain situations according to what they've played for round two. I think we'll get the card draw on the Gnomish Engineer. And we'll take the Knife Juggler for another strong two. The Cobra is good for removal, but... Alright, neither of these threes am I crazy about. Uh, I think we'll go Ice Lance. play it in combo with Frostbolt and do four damage or just free something to give us a turn an extra turn to deal with it flame strike is really strong but I actually like these two choices as well uh, I think I'm gonna go water elemental here all right, now we've got all mage abilities. With spell damage, this could be uh, increased to at least two damage to all minions or even more according to how much spell damage we have on. Arcane Explosion 
Can be good. I don't think it's great in arena. Mirror image is good, but I think we'll go arcane explosion. I think we actually will get mirror entity here. I don't like any of these choices. I don't like the Torn Warrior. Because we can enrage it ourselves, I guess we'll go that over the other two. Arcane Intelligence here. This is Sorcerer's Apprentice. It's a good two and it also benefits us on spell cost. And this will be our first five. Though we may not have a lot of minions on the board. It's a pretty good five. Even if you just have one minion up, it turns into a pretty good five. We can get our second Archmage, or we can go Abusive Sergeant. I think we'll go Abusive Sergeant. This is Defender of Argus. Between these two, um, I think we'll get Fleshy and Ghoul here and stay away from the temptation to always pick spell damage. We'll get Stormwind Champion. This is a Silverhand Knight here. Cult Master for the card draw. Now we'll get Shattered Sun Cleric. Five choices left. Now we can pick up a flesh-eating ghoul. Another sorcerer's apprentice. Slightly better rating, I guess, than fairy dragon, considering we have a mage deck. I like boulder fist ogre here, but for the removal, we're going to get polymorph. Two choices left. We'll get a Mad Bomber. And finally... I think we have enough twos. We have enough good twos that I think Ravenholt Assassin is the play. So there's our Mage deck. We end up with basically 11 mage specific cards. A little, little higher than I would have thought coming into it, but we got some decent ones. And the other minion, minions are pretty good too. If we can play intelligently, this might turn out okay. I don't know that we're going to reach the promised land with this deck, but I think we should be able to get a few wins under our belt. Let's see how it goes. We have a little bit of removal. We have some fairly strong minions and um, an interesting balance, interesting mana curve. Uh, you know, it, you, I, I am not good at predicting before I actually Jane, see the deck the in action, Jane. but 
My initial thought is, you know, this isn't too bad. Tear you apart. Now this would be an interesting start, but I think we're going to send them back and see what else we get here. Okay, I think I like that too, so... Ooh, now I'm having audio problems with the in-game sounds. Wow. I don't. I hope that's not coming on over to the video. We may just kind of do a full restart after this is over. That is brutal. We're going to turn game sounds all the way down. So of course we don't want to play um, Mad Bomber right now. Be very likely to take us out. I think we're going to try to put the worgen out there and uh, hope that if she takes the raptor out, the worgen will still be in a position where we can enrage it. I've turned the game sounds all the way down, so hopefully you're only hearing my voice and not hearing the distorted uh, game sounds that were taking place. So she's going to do some removal there and take out the raptor. So she had to coin up to do that. We can now put the Yeti down and hopefully hopefully can get some work out of the Yeti. Let's see how much removal she has in her hand at the moment. <clears throat> if she puts something kind of lazy out it's not real threatening. Okay, so there's a secret. So we're going to have to find out what the secret is before we do anything else. So before we summon anything, we attack. Okay. Now the lowest thing we could summon right now is probably this. Okay. Now I think we go Arcane Intellect. If she wants, on her turn, she can Hero Ability this and then trade here and then put ever what down whatever she has. Um, I think Arcane Intelligent, Inte Intellect is the play. And get some cards. Okay, that's good. <clears throat> Let's see how Grubot, the, the mage, uh, approaches this turn. We have all kinds of potential plays on our next turn. Putting the Mana Worm down and e playing spells on top of the Mana Worm. Okay, so she's really... Oh, she's going to trade with it. All right, so clean board for us. I think putting the ghoul down and the mana worm and then doing mirror image is an interesting play here. Let's make sure we do this the correct way. Okay, now if we have a chance to use Ice Lance on our next turn, that will give us another attack with the Mana Worm. If she uses spells to kill the ghoul, then it won't benefit from any of this. But ideally, she'll have to defeat the two mirror images first, which would make our ghoul at least a four attack minion. 
we've put her in a little bit of a difficult position. Now, once we get to turn seven, she'll have access to Flame Strike if she has it in her hand and or drew it in her deck. So she's going to freeze everything. So nothing will be able to be used next turn. <coughs> and unfortunately, that may just be <laughs> giving her a chance to get her Flame Strike out. We'll see. All right, that's a good play. Hmm. I'm not sure what our play is here. Because I don't really want to put anything out. I think we just trade. I don't want to put anything out that's going to get Flame Strike, to be honest. See if she comes back with a flame strike. She still gets value from it, I would say, but I'm sure she was really looking forward to seeing us put some another minion or two on the table for it. Okay. Huh. sure what the play is. If we freeze it, maybe we give, maybe we give these some attacking power. And then we could freeze this character give us a turn that would build this up a little bit. Let's try that. And then we're just gonna tack directly to her. We're going to let her be in control of trading, I think. Now, if she just top decked a flame strike or held one back, we're in a little trouble. She has card advantage. And I'd say board control is almost even. Going into the second half of turn eight here. So we have three, four, five damage on the table. Technically, we could go six here. In fact, we could um, we could go knife juggler, flesh eating ghoul, damage. Let's try that. Again, if she has Flame Strike that she's been strategically holding back, we are in trouble. Now this would do four. This would put it at four. And now we can do a trade here. We didn't get as much out of our ghoul, but we still have taunts on the table, so I think that was worth it. Again, we've kind of 
pushed our cards out. So if there's any kind of flame strike in her hand, um, she has suckered us into the ultimate uh, switcheroo. She has five cards, so you know she can get some things out here. That's a little scary. Mm. Okay. Let's we'll see what this is. Armor? No, okay. That'll just make this a little bigger. Now we could go Stormwind Champion here. And then technically we could take out Well, let's see what it looks like here. Okay, so it did damage to her instead of its her minion. So I think I think the play here is just to attack directly to her face. To take this out, we'd have to sacrifice our ghoul, which it doesn't feel like it's time to do that yet. We've got her down to three health. And, um... I mean... Even if she does three... Even if she did do flame strike here... Um... She's only got three turns to live, so... She's got a lot of secrets in her deck. Or either she just drew all of them. Even still, this is the third secret she's played. So she's going to take out that... I wonder what the secret was. We win the match, but I wonder what the secret was. So it probably wasn't the one that gives you armor. It may have been the one that summons. I don't know. Whatever it was, it would have been tempting to let it play out if, if I was in her position, I think. But All right, so there's victory number one. And uh, like I said before, we were having some, some really bad distortions on the game sounds. And um, so we've kind of seen two bugs right here in a row, although... It, uh, it never hurts to restart your computer and kind of have a fresh start and, and reconnect with the game. I have a feeling that might help. So we will um, we'll go at our second match here. Okay, we got things sorted out. And, and the, the, first, uh, the first bug was a bug with the writing. And um, all of the text in game was a little jaggedy until we restart it. The second bug, however, was on my end. It was a loose connection on the audio, so I don't actually think any of the distortion will hopefully will not come through on the, uh, on the recording. So we are up and running here again, and first match went really well with the mage deck, faced another mage. see who our opponent is now and, and how we match up with uh, hopefully a different class just to test out this deck a little more. Mm. Things seem to really be chugging along right now. As it tries to find us an opponent. Never seen this before, and this again may be... On my end, I did restart the computer. It may have started the game up before all the processes were through. Alright, so let's test this out. Your soul shall be mine! You asked for it. So we're going first, so we're going to send all these back in the hopes of getting... Either our uh, one taunt or... Okay, so we got nothing here. So now we're going to test the deck out, starting with a less than ideal starting hand. Do I have to? Ah, 
Can't target stealth units. I don't think. I don't think we want to freeze at this point. So we'll do a little damage to the flame imp. Warlocks can have such fast starts. The fact that he got a blood imp and a flame imp in his starting hand, coming off an arena draw, is really amazing. So, we could play the ghoul, the problem is, it does not trade well, it would be an immediate, um, be an, an, what to do, what to do, at the best case scenario, or, well, if he didn't have a spell or something to take it out, he would just be able to attack and trade, and that's not what we want for our ghoul, um, so we can just take this out with a spell. That's where that removal does come in to, and is, is handy. And let's see what the Warlock puts out. So it looks like he's going to take a turn off. Did the mana tap get some... Okay, so the Yeti is a smart play, but man, I'm telling you, I'm so curious to see one damage to all mi all enemy minions so it's an AoE attack it should take out his blood imp what to do? What but to that do? would leave us with just two mana so I think putting the Yeti out here is a smart play he's got so many cards unfortunately eight, eight cards to choose from he probably has a vast array of choices on how to neutralize the Yeti but we'll see And unfortunately, at this point, so many if he starts just removing, we may have to just continue to put our minions out there until we get through his um, removal spells. So many possibilities. What are you going to do, Blackheart? Okay, so that removal was that removal was I guess more expensive for him than than I would have uh dared to hope for so Score. I think we will just Attention. keep rolling with some Ready, hopefully sir. advantageous minions so he now is up to five mana he does still have the spell damage advantage so any spells he has that are damaging are going to do more damage than usual he had to use two mortal coils against that yeti um, along with attacking so he basically just attacks there and wipes the board he didn't like the way it looked there, so he's wants a fresh start. Pass me that arc light spanner. I think the only question here is would we rather go ahead and get our mana worm out? Um, next turn we would anticipate we might be pe playing some spells according to what he does or do we just want to go ahead and damage him what he just used a hellfire to do. so I think we will put the main worm out here man worm's gonna have a target on its back so if he has anything with charge um, or if he has more spell removal, which he very well could. He still has seven cards in his hand, even after all of the cards he's played. 
Looks like he may remove something here. Okay. So that costs you one mana. Me? All right, so if we summon two taunt minions, that puts it at two. And then if we freeze it, that puts it at three. I would give it three. Then we would still have enough for hero ability. Let's see. Hmm. One mana. Two. Oh yeah, we'd have plenty. And we could also... We know we're going to trade there. Alright, let's just see kind of how this goes. Okay, so we could play Secret and this. That would make it at four. But we Time runs out on that. me. Okay. We definitely want to attack with this. We'll go ahead and put this out. We already trade. Hey, give me a minute. The bad part is we ran out of time and didn't get our hero ability off. It still has seven attacks, so. We may just have to go Arcane Explosion Fire Blast to get him off. The only good so side of this is possibilities. that... Again, he just clears the board. Now he has three mana to put something down. So that's his second Hellfire. How good of a hand does this guy have? Blow something up. <laughs> hmm. I wonder. Sometimes, I forget things. We need some good card draw here to stay in this stay in this battle. He has four with fourteen, we have two with yeah, yeah, seven. You gotta be kidding me!
Now, do we want to... Probably going to trade here. Uh, do we want to take a chance on the Mad Bomber hitting? No, I think we'll go here. Where am I? Oh. And... Unfortunately, I think we'll have to do this. Hero ability could should be able to take that out next turn. The only thing we've done is kept ourselves from taking the massive damage from... I don't know how this guy in Arena Draft gets two of these. Or has he had three of these on I don't even know. He's had... He's just had so many good cards. So many good cards. Alright. Um... I want to do this. Let's draw a card. That's going to be a positive trade for us, so we'll go ahead and get the crew out. Don't think. And I think we want to hold off now. And not play anything else. Silence or one of his many so extravagant many possibilities. cards that he has drawn out of this. Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! Is that four mercenaries? Help me with this. Is that four? You wanna blow something up? Because <laughs> it feels like that's four mercenaries he's had now. Join or die! Or both. Get in there and fight, maggot! Don't blink. <laughs> Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's four Venture Co. mercenaries that this kid drew into an arena deck. What is going on? I feel like he just... Why not? It gets down to five. I think we can do this. I don't know. If we give it plus one, that's four, and then this would be five. What to do? What to do? We must cleanse the Sunwell. Behold the might of Stormwind! Who We're not going to be able to take it out. We won't trade. We'll just attack right at him. Let's see what other amazing cards he has in this incredible deck that he opened up the Hearthstone innards and chose mm, for himself. You're in trouble now. Mm, he got rid of an imp master. You're in trouble now. Yeah, we are in trouble now. What's he gonna trade? Yeah, that's the right trade. He's gonna have less health. We need a good card here. At the very least... Is he gonna tap? He taps, it's game over. I wonder. I think you should tap, buddy. Hoo -hoo, yeah, you got it. Push forward. Someday I'll be just like you. He's 
He's got two life. He's got two turns left to get 14 hit points off of us. Can't believe this deck he had, though. Honestly. Hmm. I'm going to have to review the tape. I swear I think he had four mercenary. I know it seems like you've got to think hard now. I but there's wonder. not anything to think about. You either take our minions off and play your amazing last card here. Or it's game over. Good game. Good game, black card. I know it sounded bitter, but you really should have it. Got really fortunate several times to be able to remove some of your big minions, but I have a feeling you're still going to go really far in arena on this run. We had just enough removal there, folks, to to make that work. for it so we've got a support three it's not necessarily ideal for early game but it's okay um, I think we're gonna keep it just so that we don't end up with absolutely nothing we can play in the first couple turns mm. I don't know we need a really good draw okay. we just we don't have much rogues aren't aren't usually too scary um, just in and of themselves but if like you let a rogue get going it's very hard to to get caught up now it'll be interesting to see what kind of deck Tristo has here I think we've played we played Tristo before? I feel like we have but I don't know for sure um, see what kind of deck he has here as we get into this match. So we can... I think we'll just take this one off the bat. Me? Me? Go to the face. With four mana. Hmm. I don't know, let's see what he plays, because there's a lot of different scenarios that could determine what the ideal play for us is going to be. I wonder... Looks like he's just going to trade. So, with an empty board, I'm thinking this is a decent time for Gnomish Engineer. You could also argue that Raging Worgen works here, but um, I want to have as many cards as possible Job's to done. give us choices, and, and actually that's good to get that. We'll get two more cards next time we have three mana that we don't have to spend uh, in a turn. This isn't a very good offensive I'm card, ready. only does two damage, and that's a good counter. Let's see what we can do. Let's see.
This would become a 3-3, but it would still be tradable. So I think we have to put our taunts hmm. down. We also could have <laughs> hero ability and then put the cleric down. <clears throat> Um, if we put the cleric down now, we won't be able to hero ability, but it'll set it up for next turn. What to do? We must cleanse the sun well. Hey, give me a minute! I think it actually would have been preferable in my mind, knowing we have some pretty solid cards here, if we had not put the taunt down this turn. If we had put cleric down, fireballed, and then traded. Um... Although you wonder, I don't know. Hmm. Looks like we're going to be able to trade with him either way, if he does indeed attack that. Let's see if he does with his five mana though. He has all these spell damage cards. Did give him, let him draw a card, so that's, that's a decent card, I guess, for him at that point. But all right, so if we put Ghoul down, hit this, and then trade, um, I think that's. Hmm. That'll leave us three mana. So we'll have enough to do it. It doesn't really matter to which one of these we take out. Push forward. Could freeze the character, but I don't think that's necessary. Hey, give me a minute. We actually could hit it here. No, let's don't let him have. Let's don't let him have two attacks with four. We're gonna have to trade again. Cult Master will get some good value. We could do a Cult Master Arcane and Intellect or a Cult Master Worgen combo. Um, unless we're trading I with wonder. Hero Ability, then we'll just be able to go Cult Master Hero Ability. What's he attacking? Is he just gonna. He can't trade there. Okay, so he's going back up to five mana, playing something pretty big here. Drink up me, Okay. Now I can take that out. So what are you going to create on one Okay. Okay. So we'll go Cult Master and then trade. Join or die! Or both. So we're still maintaining control of the battlefield ever so slightly. We have the health life um, lead. Card amount is similar. He has a couple more cards than we do in his hand. We've played two more than he has. So pretty even other than the fact that we have been able to hit him a few times. Blood and plunder. Okay, so we could go juggler. Juggler. Ancient mage. And then hero ability. I wonder. Put this apple on your head. I also could put this up now. It'd be a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, I think I like this. Sometimes I forget things. Gives us more options to go ahead and take a, a life off of that. 
He still has one durability with two attack. He can take the juggler out here. Just eat the damage to the face. See what how good of cards he has though, because he's definitely getting getting board control back pretty quickly here. Okay. Now he's gonna take out our mage with that card and his dagger. He'll still have eight mana to put whatever he wants on the board. This is our town, scrub. Such a good card. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. This is our town, scrub. Yeah, beat it. So you played it the first time without a combo, returned it to his hand. The second time with the combo, returned his hand, played it first. Let the pain speak off to me. So we just need to get some things out there, I guess. Um. We're not going to trade well here. It's going to be a rough couple turns. What to um, do? What to do? Three, eight, nine. <laughs> The Frost Wolves stand ready. Certainly not ideal, but we're just trying to get to a place where with spells and our hero ability, we can perhaps trade okay. Um, let's see what else he has. Not good. that's permanent, that cold-blooded. For this, I'm down to 18 life, so he's on the verge of winning this. Tazingo! With the, uh, yes. it's the board advantage he's created here. Have gotten a lot of his scrub. Yeah, beat it. I guess when you win a couple matches, go two and zero, get, <laughs> get to face other people that have had amazing draws. All right. Only got 15 health left. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. The Frost Wolves stand ready! I think it's more important to get 
cards out while we still have a little bit of life here that at least gives us a chance to turn the tables in case he's running out of steam with all of this crazy trading he's been able to do with those Defias yeah, and all his cards, really. He's been comboing pretty well. I wonder. We must cleanse the Sunwell. He's count counting to see if he can win right now. I think we'll have three life unless this other card gives more damage as well. see how important our special ability is going to be. It may be pretty important. Um, Alright, we've got to take out uh, this. If you insist. Ah! Oh. 2, 4, 6, 8, 9. Let's see, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We've got to remove some more damage. Seven damage. For the horde! He can do five damage right now. Let's see what card he draws. turn one way or the other, I think. Either he kills us or we kill him. For Argus! For the Alliance! Well played. Just went ahead and put everything out. We're not gonna... We're gonna, well, gonna last more than a turn or two anyway. Oh. So we win in the end, but... That was rough, and either it's going to be some rough turns there when he start build, started building up an army real quick with all of his comboing, but we were able to hang on and then turn around and come back and get the final damage out of him, so that was a satisfying win.
This will be interesting to see I how our deck performs against a Paladin. Um, we got some decent cards to start a match with, so we'll keep those. Since we've got two two cards, we'll probably coin into it. Make that three two cards. The Paladin, even though the trades aren't always advantageous, you really don't want to keep their silver hand recruits on the board whenever it can be avoided. They have uh, with Blessing of Kings and other abilities, they have so many options on giving them divine shields and buffing them in other manners. So, uh, since a, we are a mage, we do kind of have a natural way, built-in way to deal with that. Uh, it slows us down on putting cards out, but he's not putting cards out either when he uses his special ability. So it's not, um, it's not necessarily the end of the world there. We're going to wait and let him open it up here. Um, we're now in consecration range. Now it's a 1-3, he can either initiate the trade with us, or if he has other cards to play, he can play them and hit us directly to the face and let us trade next turn. The crusade! Again, our special ability is really good at taking Divine Shields off. If he doesn't have something else he wants to play, you'd expect a silver hand recruit here, and here it is. Reporting for duty. Now let's see, okay, so he's going to let us do the trading. Um, let's see, if we hit, if we hit the divine shield off, attack there, this still lives, to do. And then attack to there, do. that trades, and this is kind of what we're left with. We don't have anything that, well, this does give it plus one, but plus one doesn't help except for the health. Okay, so we go here. Oh yeah, we won't have that. That's why that messes up. Okay, so let's let's don't worry about that then. All right, we want to trade Me? here. Trade here. And I think we'll put the worgen down. Let's see how... Okay. So he'll trade there. He's only got one mana. So... Um, if we enrage it, it attacks for four. What else can we do? We'd have four mana left over. Okay, actually this would give it four attack, and that would be five. What to do? What to that could do? be interesting. Can we... But then we wouldn't be able to enrage it if we put anything else down with it. We could draw a card. Get plus to spell damage. Alright. I think we do want to enrage it. And... It's going to have two life left, so I think this is a good time to draw a card. We are giving the sort of the momentum back to him here on board control potentially. Especially if he's able to remove our minion and keep that alive. Uh, 
I wonder. He's gonna buff that up, maybe? Not on my watch. Yep. Now I have to be able to trade and it'll Drink still be low. with me, friend. Okay, so his divine shield went back into his hand. Locked and loaded. Whoa, that's not what I was expecting. That's not what I was expecting at all. Alright, I think we have to... I think we have to do this. Hey, give me a minute! Now is the decision time. We could give it 1-1 one, one so that it lives a little longer. Three, then we'd have two, put another one out. I think that's good. We must cleanse the sun well. Or we could also put this out, has three health, and then freeze that guy. Might like that even better. <laughs> no consecrate, please. Join or die. So he knows he's gonna trade. I guess. Get in there and fight, maggot. Okay, so he's gonna go ahead and trade with the man of. No, interesting. All right, so he's playing very aggressively, letting us. Set the tempo of what is traded, I guess. And a lot of times that can work out. Um, not always, but a lot of times. Alright, so if we put this here, we suddenly have four attack and four attack. Everything is small, though. Hmm. We have three health and four health. So we take that out first. I think that's a good play. My shield. We have four Argus. left. Um, we could get this out and take out this guy. All right, so four, four, and four, three. Hey, give me a minute. Ah! Push that's forward. Now, let's see if his consecration was... So he's got consecration. That was actually in his hand last turn as well. Reporting for Is he gonna trade here or no? <laughs> he just... He just likes to keep his minions alive. Alright. Um, what is his secret? The breach. We don't have a really small minion to test it on. The breach. Oh. So whatever minion we summon, its health is going to go down to one potentially. Hmm. What would be the least devastating? Probably this. Sometimes I forget things. Okay. Let's see if he uh, does not trade again. <laughs> He decides to not trade again. So we get a copy of whatever minion he plays. Um, we'll see if he does any testing before just summoning a minion. 
I don't believe it counts Behold, when he reinforces. Yeah, we'll take that. Behold the might of storm wind. We will take that. Not on my watch. We can take that fine shield off. We're not too worried about the fine shield right now. All right. So I think we go mirror image, storm wind, and then take divine shield off. has six health, so we kind of have to trade here. Um, he could have another Consecrate. I think we attack directly I? here. Into the breach. Job done. I think this is the time where, if we're going to win, we win now against Magic the Paladin. Okay. Two mana though, and we can do a lot of damage. 27 damage it looks like. Alright, so what's the minion we would most be okay with killing? <laughs> yeah, you can't take this Stormwind guy out, buddy. I think the thing that we would most be okay with dying at this point is actually taunt. Now, is this going to do two damage to everyone? Let's say 7, 14, 21. We'll have enough either way, so let's. Where this feels a little I? safer. For the alliance! For the alliance! No! Alright! Sort of a. Like a harder -earned victory again there. These matches are getting closer and closer. The last two have been tight. Um, but it doesn't look like it at the end. At the end we kind of took over, but that's just because of how well it worked out for us to copy us. Uh, get a copy of his summoned minion, that Stormwind Champion he put out. And for him, the play there would have been to test out that secret. Uh, because he basically, he put himself in such a horrible position when that happened, but. All right, so four wins. Um, with this mage deck and, of course now we'll start getting into opponents that have had equally good runs or better, or equally good random draws or better. If this warrior is also 4 no, it's a scary thought. A uh, warrior deck that comes out really solid is, uh, in my experience, tough to tough to deal with. But it's good. It's another different uh, opponent hero that we're playing, so we're really getting to test out. Hmm. The light protects me. And that's such a good card against the mage because. Can't just immediately remove it because of the divine, um, divine shield protects it from just hero revealing it. So the question here is, you know what? I'm not, this warrior is obviously has done well. We're not gonna, we're not gonna let the our side of the table be empty here on turn one. At this point, we're just playing the knife juggler as a good two. That's three two. We don't have anything to play, so I think the play here is actually to um, probably go ahead and trade with him. Let's see. No, I think we'll attack and keep our minions full health as well. If we know we're going to trade next turn, we can go flesh eating ghoul. We're not sure. We could always go warden. We must cleanse the Sunwell. So now he's gonna trade. Let's see what stacks up good. I probably let's see. Anything we play with three is gonna be an even trade if he wants to trade. 
Um, the only thing we could do is hmm. put the Mad Bomber out there and try to do some damage to him and save our threes. Even if we don't do damage to him, we're in a pretty good point with that. I think that's probably the... Well, something up? <laughs> Job's done. Just him once. Thank you for not listening, Mad Bomber. All right, so now, again, if we know we're going to trade Cult Master or Ghoul. Probably Cult Master in this situation, but we'll see. Master actually um, <clears throat> would be an even trade with the inventor if he chose to. Um, this would not trade well. I think hmm. we go ahead and get the card draw out of it. Nothing else trades particularly well. I mean, we could do Bloodfin Raptor, damage him once and then trade, but I want to go ahead and get the card draw out, I believe. <laughs> a warrior deck that has, has gone for an oath, indeed he has, has, has probably been played really aggressively, so he may not even trade here with us. My blade be thirsty. Yeah, that's a good play. And now he will trade, Wanna I would think. Up? <laughs> oh, what a great time for the Mad Bomber. Now he'll trade. Yeah. This is now what a 5 four. And we may have just seen one of the reasons why this deck has gone so far. <clears throat> Alright. So we really want things that do 4 damage, and we just don't have a lot of those. Um, we're right now going to unfortunately be in survival mode. Probably what Torn to Warrior, do. Bloodfriend Raptor. Do. Um, the downside is that this card is just going to continue to grow. You'll be able to trade this for this, and then that will be a 7 4, and then the Raptor still wouldn't kill him. I wonder. So, just not really a good play here to make. Hmm. Oh, he runs out on me. This is not a good play to make. This, uh, this is going to be a really large minion soon. But, off the top of my head, I'm not sure there was a lot we could have done about it. What now? he can divine what shield does the it future hold? or taunt I can at least take it out health and we're at 16 and honestly he hasn't played big cards yet he's just had us in a pickle Thrain 50 Thrain 50? I don't know that 
Berserker is so good. I hear you got a problem. I don't have anything that does AoE damage. Funsies. But if he has an Arcanite, that is game over. Yes, me and Mr. Bite. <laughs> Shields up. <laughs> So let's see, take that out with that, and then I think by then one of those will be strong enough to trade. All that does is give us one more turn of him not being able to use a weapon, if he has a weapon. One damage after he attacks with this panther, so well played. It's gonna be game over. Back to work. So I think if he hadn't had the berserker, if he hadn't gotten that out uh, when he did, I think that's a winnable game for us. But he played the berserker at a time. It was very well played, uh, and we couldn't get to it before. It took off a lot of damage from us and really focused our attention for way too long. So um, we either needed to have drawn some removal early, which we didn't, or we needed him to have not gotten the Berserker at the exact time he did. But it's a good match, though. We almost came back, but it didn't work. Maybe we'll get another warrior. I, I'd like to try again against a warrior. Um, I think we have strong enough minions and with the little bit of removal we have that it's not necessarily the worst matchup. <clears throat> Jane versus well, we are just Alfurian. getting the international I tour of heroes here. Now we're facing a druid. So we have a two, three, four with the uh, draw cards.
Huh. Oh, even... Okay, that's great. We'll take it. We don't have any spells, so we'll probably get the raptor out first. Hello. <sighs> Let's see if we can withstand the druid onslaughts. Technically, could go knife juggler then apprentice to get the juggler working. I'll just trade with us. Job's done. Sorry, this is turn three, isn't it? I think that's still the order I would have gone in. Getting all of his removal spells out of his out of his hand. Oh. Now we've got four. Someday I'll be just like you. That makes putting the secret up next turn and potentially polymorphing inexpensive. Or if we know we're going to trade Cult Master, or if we think a taunt would be good, we could always do Blood taunt and, and secret. Blunder. Huh. Probably want to. Hmm. Oh no, we could save Polymorph. We could just go ahead and get the Yeti out here. Or the Water Elemental. I wonder. Isn't that kind of tempting, though? I mean, it doesn't damage. Oh, it runs out on me. I'll hold on to it. We'll hold on to it. <clears throat> Let's see what he's able to do here. Now he's going to use his ability to attack. He's got to run out of removal eventually, right? Maybe playing stubborn right now, which might not be good. Behold the might of Stormwind! Behold the might of Stormwind!
don't know what we want to play here. Get in there and fight, maggot! Squire, attend me! Ready, sir. We've had lots of choices. It could have gone a lot of different ways in this match. So far, he's pretty much had an answer for everything we've done. Speak to me. To battle! I think we've got to come out swinging right now. We must cleanse the Sunwell. I don't know what he has. If he has more removal, I mean, that would be amazing because he's had removal for days. But if he does have more removal, then he's probably going to win. Ooh. But... Unbelievable. I don't know what to say. The most important thing to take out here is probably the raid leader. We can also take out the owl. Push forward. freezing this normally I would save the freeze but we're just trying to catch a break here on turning the tide our direction we're down in health we're down in cards Ooh. he's got so much removal unbelievable mind if I roll knee Yeah. 
We want him to draw a card here. Is it more important for us to have him not draw a card or not have this minion on the table? He'll be able to do two attack. I wonder. It's going to allow him, if he has a card that does that, I think we got to take it off. Unfortunately, we got to let him draw a card. We'll see how it plays out, but if we hadn't, and he drew a spell to, to take this off the table, he'd be able to trade. I'm ready. I'm not ready. A natural mistake. It's unbelievable. Good. My shield for Argus. So he'll take it out. With this one, he'll have two attack and special ability, and that'll be it. What to do? to do. have to attack it with one of those unless he draws a card. I don't think it's going to happen. Let's see. Take it out there. Two damage plus his one. That's game over. Well played. All right. No! Well, we've lost two matches now. Both of them have been really close, which I think shows that uh, the deck we put together is a good deck. Um, it's coming up a little short. Let's see how we do now. Magic will tear you apart. <coughs> One of the weakest starting hands we've had, <coughs> but it got better with that draw. Hello. Debut the mage.
my seal for Argus. Me? <clears throat> well, let's see what the mage does here. Was either intentionally holding back, trying to set us up, or just drew higher cards. Weird. There's something for two. more removal. to do what to do Be a quest. All right, how many cards can they get out on top of that? The might of storm wind. Just holding back a little bit, preparing for board clear. Got decent minions still in our hand. Trade here with the Panther, right? For the King! Could take Stormwind Champion out now. Hmm.
Don't blink. Don't blink. Things are looking good, obviously. Um, oh, another secret, though. Sometimes I forget things. Don't blink. Not do is summon anything unless we have to. Um, Are you ready for this? Thinking that that's what the secret is about. Don't blink. Okay. She draws into a board clear. Pass me that park light spanner. Attend me! Ready, sir. May my ancestors... Okay, let's see what you top deck this time. Not enough. You did not know, you did not... Well played. Top deck into if enough. If you insist. To battle! All right, win against the mage. Well, this little run is definitely helping our our mage um, experience level. Let's see who we get this time. Bring victory. You asked for it. All right, a priest, so more fun board clear, very likely. We need some card draw. Summoning portal open. <laughs> we need 
need us some card draw. So you're gonna be able to take a four minion. I mean, he's gonna be like a four minion wild scar. Take a four minion out of his deck here because we left the summoner alive. But what can I say? We left the summoner alive. All right, we could go ahead and tra uh, sheep this. Uh, if we do one damage, we'll have four, so we still wouldn't be a good trade. We can take this out, but then we won't have enough to sheep. What to do? What to do? Now I can get a five minion out. Because once again, we left the summoner out. I'm gonna heal that up, it looks like, maybe. Now power. Your works. magic yeah. shall not save. Uh, we didn't have any spells anyway. What we'll do now. Alright. No more cheaper summonings. Shields up. It's looking like we may have to draw cards next turn, unless something really compelling. Give up his light well, I guess. For the whole <clears throat> mm, It's hard to test out a secret when you don't have any minions on the board. Um, he played his weakest need. minion possible, I'm sure, and that's a good play. And we'll probably just trade with him. We'll both draw a card, unless he has something else down. What's he saving up for here? Hmm. Behold the might of strong wind! Perhaps not even trading with him here. For the horde! Oh, I don't know what big monster he's saving up for, but maybe mind control? <clears throat> if he were to mind control one of these, I'll just trade with him. Sure, that's what we want to do. Freeze a character. I think that's what we want to do. Yeah. May my 
Do you have another mind control? Yeah, yeah, you gotta be kidding me! What to do? What to do? Sometimes I forget things. Be trouble. For this, where am I? Man, Warren should be three attack right now. Sixteen damage. Don't mess have 15 with damage. <laughs> Alright, so does he have removal? I know he can heal himself. Can't heal himself enough though if he doesn't have taunt. 15. Game wild scar. At 20, we get that golden arcane intellect. Draw cards in style. Well, this is as well as I've ever done with a mage deck in Arena. Uh, although I haven't played mage in quite a while in Arena, and I think I've only played it ever once or twice, and uh, didn't do as well. Although when I would have played it, I would have had even less of an idea than I do now on cards to draw for Arena. Um, I know that mages do well, and I've, I've played around with mage and ranked play some to get a little more familiar with it, um, which hopefully helps my ability to identify some of the better cards in the mage deck when drafting for Arena. But uh, This has been a good run uh, with this deck. And um, the two matches we lost were razor thin close. A couple of matches we've won were close. Versus Another priest here. Well, let's see how this, uh, what could be you our last match, how this goes. Hopefully it won't be, but 
We'll take mirror image, but we'll roll the dice on getting some other card, so. Oh, I don't know. I'm on the table. Ooh, excuse me. Bang the desk there. Two card out. At least with that card, he can take out one of our taunts before our hero ability would destroy it. Um, unless he heals it up. Now we're going to play this. No point in having a healing battle with a priest who does two heals when we only do one damage. So now our little uh, beginning of the match dance is over. We can get into actually playing our cards. He has seven, we have four. We'll have six, I guess. I have a two card advantage going into turn five. This is one of the few times that this is actually a good card. Now the Snapjaw actually counters a lot of the a lot of decent cards. Um, it doesn't do as well against mm. other fours, but against smaller cards it does. So I guess the question here is, are we just going to trade and put him down at four health? I think we will. And we'll get one card draw out of it and then see how next turn goes. <laughs> I think that'll end up being okay. He can heal it, but that'll use two of his mana if he wants to do that. And then we can start getting some of our bigger cards out, no matter what he does with it. And we have removal. I mean, one thing you have to worry about with the priest is they can combo some of their cards together to make a single minion just a gigantic minion when they start doubling its health, making its attack equal to its health. something out that is not as easy to trade as what we've had out there early, so far with these little annoying minions he's got. And he may have a deck with a lot of removal and, and damaging spells oh, and healing and then just some annoying little minions and that can do okay in, in Arena. Uh, it just depends on what all his cards look like. We've still got some good cards to come out though. Trying to figure out the best way to tackle this situation, it looks like. Hmm. This is a good card to buff up. Quickly.
So we could go five and ghoul if we're going to do some trading. Jared the priest. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Squire, attend me. Ready, sir. Don't blink. Don't blink. About to find out how devastating his removal is. There's his first shadow word. Pain. Only costs two mana. Very good value in a lot of cases. Embrace the void. <laughs> we must cleanse the Sunwell. To battle! Interesting choices here. Is someone injured? So he's getting his car draw in. Yeah. Silly turtle alive. What to do? What to do? Push forward! I hear you got a problem. Do that. Silver Moon shall not. Got us on the ropes a little bit here. So I don't know what our priority is. Hmm. Put this apple on your head. Someday I'll be 
<laughs> we didn't get lucky. All right. Push forward. Just can't leave the uh, light spawn away alive. Just can't do it. It's too much he can do to buff it up and turn it into um, game over. So at least stay in the match a little longer here, even though he now has the uh, Let me change your mind. Temple Enforcer. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Mm. Me? Job done. Not looking good, folks. Not looking good. Don't know if we should have held back there. We still have a lot of life, but... If we get into a situation where we're just drawing one card at a time, it's gonna be the end of it. For not a time. Ten mana. Need. Now we've got a. For the crusade. Well, that's weird. It was enraged, and then we got healed, so it wasn't enraged anymore. All right. Is there anything we just have to take out? Uh, we probably want to take divine shield off. Maybe take out this. I wonder. Freeway, I mean, he's got two freeways to get rid of the Yeti. Because he can heal either one of them. I think that's going to be it. Nothing in our deck that I can think of that just by getting one card. Sometimes I forget things. Job done. Not that it matters. Four, six, ten, thirteen. Take out. Behold this one, this the might one. of storm oh. wind. Forty, fifty, sixty, seventeen. That's game over. <laughs> All right. Well played. So pretty good mage deck we created. Uh, that was the first game we've played where it wasn't close. That, that, that match was really never close. The priest had control of us the whole time. Um, but we did lose two other matches that were close and they just go that way sometimes. It's hard to complain though. I'm still getting used to the mage and to go six and three, I'm, I'm okay with that. Let's see what we get. Haven't had to spend real money recently with the game. It's pretty good. Pretty good. So thanks for watching as always. Enjoyed this. Uh, and I haven't been doing this. Thought I would add this on to the end here. Showing some of the cards we get. Um, so nothing there too exciting don't don't remember for sure if I have these already but rare. got two rares Blade Fury interesting card there and a Raven Raven Holt assassin so again thanks for watching there's the uh, results of the pack we got for this arena match and until next time
Bye-bye, Nods.